So I want to be really upfront about this trip. A lot of people that go out and record videos for fishing, you don't see a lot of people that come back and say, I got skunked. So the whole point of this trip was really to run my boat a little bit and test out some binoculars, but I was hoping to catch fish as well because a week before this, I was still doing well. But let me tell you, despite my best efforts throughout this video, I got skunked. I didn't catch a single fish the whole time I was fishing. But what I did do is I think I patterned some fish and I kind of figured out that the, while the fish weren't there, I had a good idea of where to go next time. So I wanted to share this video with you so you can see how a skunk trip really isn't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it's not fun to talk about, but it taught me a lot about where I needed to be next and it actually helped me catch fish on my next trip. Now this trip took place in the lower Potomac at the very beginning of January and there should have been some bigger fish showing up and this day there just weren't either of those things. So I still haven't really found any good marks on fish. I see a few boats out here. No one's really doing much, it doesn't seem like. But what I do see is a bunch of birds flying high on a ledge that's over there and two boats over that way too. I see one boat out to my left with a few birds around it as well. People fishing. Yeah, I think my best bet is to go over here. So we're gonna go over here, then maybe head back to the middle after that. We'll see what happens. So now we're gonna do we're kind of near where we've been fishing and catching lately so we're gonna kind of just cruise around here use a side scan and try to figure out if there are any fish around and we'll go from there I see a few boats around I'm marking a few fish nothing crazy yet but we'll see we got no obvious signs of fish yet For once there's tons of birds around me back where I was before I did mark a few fish back at 50 feet I marked a few fish Oh, now I'm marking some fish on the side scan. So I'm using the side scan right now and I'm seeing off to my right hand side I just marked a good school of fish. So I'm going to go ahead and swing over that way and kind of stay in this area. And hopefully this is where these fish are. I'm starting to see birds moving around. I'm not sure if they're moving around because of me or if they're moving around because fish are moving around. But I think we're in the right spot here guys. Yep, there's some more fish. Nice school of fish off to my right, a little pot of them. I think if I just go kind of in this area, I'm going to start finding them here. I'm actually going to set up a drift in a second, just turn off the engine and yeah, there we go. All right, so here we go. We got some fish on the fish finder. Let's see what we can do. Now, if you're new to fishing the way I fish, I do light tackle jigging. So I have a medium to medium fast or medium heavy action rod here with a jig head and a soft plastic. And I'm getting down to the bottom where the fish are and kind of doing something called snap jigging. I do those big, huge kind of tugs there just so I can get line out faster. And I'm trying to get on the bottom and bounce it on the bottom or bounce it at the height where those fish are jigging it up and down. Now, obviously, as I said in the beginning, I didn't catch any fish here, but this whole time that I'm sitting here watching these fish, the, the fish finder is lit up with fish. So it's not for a lack of fish on there. They just were not biting this day. It was just the fact that they just weren't biting. They had definitely had lockjaw and they were not biting at all. So, you know, I would, I would work these schools just like this throughout the day and just never really get hit. A few times I had some soft taps and stuff like that, but otherwise it was a pretty slow day despite good marks on the screen. I'm gonna search this area a little bit because I still see birds sitting. I see gannets flying. Like it's all stuff that I would normally stick around. I do see some birds down this edge. And what I'm basically gonna do is just work around here. And despite my efforts, I really didn't see much. I kept marking small schools of bait. I would see birds off in the distance, but for the most part, you know, it wasn't ever that big concentration of fish that I really need to see to be able to jig them up consistently. I think I see something a little further out. We're gonna go check out what it is right now.
There we go. Nice marks on the screen. Drifted over something good. Let's see what we got here, guys. All right, we got beautiful marks on the screen right now. Maybe we can get one to bite. One. See, they're about 20 feet down, so I'm gonna count to four, and then just twitches. And nothing. Nothing yet. Now they're on the bottom. So I got some right there on the bottom. We're at about 40 feet of water. Let's see if we can't get one to bite. So it's always about being in contact with that jig and feeling it touch back down on the bottom every time. Constant marks on there, just not getting hit yet. It's not stacked up, but it's definitely some fish on there. So honestly, watching this back, I kind of think I just might have been impatient. I think I could have got these fish to bite, but for whatever reason, I was in a pretty big hurry to try to get these fish to bite. I was moving around a lot, and maybe it was the time crunch I put myself under to be back at the ramp, but I think for the most part, if I would have just stuck it out and done longer drifts, I may have had a chance at getting some of these stubborn fish to bite. Here we are. We got some fish on the fish finder. Smells like fish. Let's see what we can catch. And you guessed it. I caught absolutely nothing. So I ended up chasing around a few different little schools of bait, a few schools of fish, and just never saw anything. And there's actually bird, th bird shows throughout this little area. You can see those boats running behind me, but they just never materialized into biting fish. So I ended up just heading back to the house. It was actually the day I was gonna put the boat on the boat lift, so I was super excited to get back. I wanted to make sure I was back in plenty of time if I needed to do any adjustments. So overall, no, it was not a you know productive trip, I guess, in the sense of catching fish. But I know now that um, that was that change between when those smaller fish were in the Chesapeake Bay and those bigger fish come up. And every single year, I know that when that kind of transition happens, you can pretty much bet on the fact that bigger fish will be there within the week migrating up the bay to start doing their, you know, pre-staging for spawning and stuff like that. So overall, no fish caught, but I learned the pattern that the fish were in and I had a good idea for when I went out next time. Hopefully this video is helpful. Hope to see you on the next one.